I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. My name's Kyra. Nice to meet you, I'm Tenka. Awesome, likewise. Um, okay, I'll get started. Uh, so, people connect to your music from all over the world. Um, how does it feel to perform somewhere huge like the Download Festival and see your fans connecting to your music re regardless of that language barrier? Thanks for your kind comment. Um, we believe, like, we're, the Who Band is one of the one of a few band who sings in their own native language on a world scale, um, and uh, we have we were firm believers that the uh, music comes from uh, one's heart uh, to and um, actually goes into you know uh, to listener's heart as well. So we. Uh, you know, just playing it download was absolutely fantastic. Um, this time, this time we performed at the main stage, but um, our first time performing at, at this a huge festival was in 2019. And, um, you know, time has changed. We have uh, have met with so many great, uh, great, uh, so many um, of our fans that day. And um, it's been just a fantastic uh, tour overall. Yeah, that is amazing. And um, being able to perform in your native tongue is amazing that it's so well received across the world. Um, what do your local Mongol people think of your music and your fame? Like, is, is there a sense of being incredibly proud or what do they think? <laughs> No, <laughs> The music industry and the Mongolians um, really respect respect what we do, um, and you know every time every time it's just very visible from day to day interaction in Mongolia. Um, the music industry in Mongolia is obviously a very tight knit group, and they show their um, support in, in, in many in any way they can. Um, also, our government um, have, has awarded us the highest honor of, of um, Genghis Khan in 2020. Um, so that just shows that like, they always have our back. Um, you know, our backbone has always been in Mongolia. Uh, and of course, uh, the support of our fans worldwide has, has put us um, to, to this level. Wow, that is so cool. That is something to be so proud of. Like, I'm blown away. That's amazing. Oh, your music translates beautifully into an acoustic format. Like, are you excited to release more acoustic songs on the deluxe edition of Rumble to, Rumble to Thunder? I'm 
Sorry, uh, Kara, did you ask about the deluxe album or the future um, um, albums? Specifically the deluxe album. They've got a couple songs that they're putting on there that are acoustic. So I was just wondering, are they excited to get them out there? Oh, that sounds great. Uh, I'm scratching it hard. No, the acoustic version of version it, uh, the deluxe album is the um, Mm-hmm. Glad you mentioned that care because um, our traditional instruments uh, which we use um, on, on touring and which we use like you know uh, to perform it actually has the um, nature of like being an acoustic instrument right so it really does wonders when we perform um, acoustically and um, the traditional instruments uh, have like have a very great quality uh great quality when it comes to an acoustic sound so um i'm i'm really happy that we'll be sharing those acoustic versions into our deluxe album because we have added in not only like you know it ha- our songs have a different version of it but we also have like added in different chorus and verse here and there as a bonus so our fans will know like you know which end we have adjusted and we just like you know felt like adding in you know uh, adding in um some additions to our uh, surprises uh, to our uh, song acoustic songs so our fans it rings for a surprise that's awesome so it's basically in its nice natural form we get to see it in which is exciting um, so have you guys noticed that following on from your traditional instruments have you noticed any fans or people reaching out wanting to try them and learn how to play them since you guys have kind of blown up Hold <laughs> Okay, <coughs> <coughs> The <laughs> <laughs> Our usage of like our traditional um, instrument um, has inspired many people to learn and pay attention to the horse of it all and you know pastor and heart to heart. Um, but the most um, the most popular one is the horse fiddle, and um, you know there are so many people attempting to learn the horse fiddle, and they always like you know send send out a support message to us, and they just like show their horse fiddle as well. Um, and last year. 
And when we were on the tour with uh, Megadeth and Pack and the Dead Punch, the Dave Mustaine actually was like so curious and so interested about our hospital. He actually came up to our uh, you know uh, room and tried try to attempt to play the <laughs> uh, play the hospital song. Yeah. And um, he was just like in awe that that like how uh, awe of the instrument itself because the horseville ha has only two strings, and um, you know he was just like very curious on how we managed to uh, to uh, play it um, play it like a guitar, right? Yeah. So it is one mm -hmm. of our goals to introduce our yeah, you know ancient ancient um, uh, traditional instruments to the world and also inspire people to learn it and um, I, I think we're, we're doing that, uh, that fantastically. That is so cool, like what an amazing thing to do and to get people that excited to want to learn your traditional instruments is something to be incredibly proud of. Um, this kind of follows on from that. Um, your music has been received really well in the metal and rock community. How does it feel to be so well received by your peers? I just think that the rock, um, metal, uh, metal rock um, community is such an accepting people. And, you know, as a, as a starting um, artist uh, like ourselves, ever since we have started, we've uh, seen nothing but love from, from the people, from our fans, and also like artists in, in, in the industry. So we just like, you know, the, the, uh, it feels like the rock, rock metal community loves new, um, new, new um, music and new genre, and they love to explore, explore, and um, so that just uh, that just keeps us motivated to do more and um, perform more and perform more. Yeah, that's awesome. You can see how excited like everyone is your peers and your fans when you're performing. Everyone around is just like erupting and it's, um, yeah, it's a beautiful thing to see. Um, so you all are so deeply and blue, beautifully connected when you play together. Um, what is the connection between you all? Are you, how long have you known each other for and how did it become a band? <coughs> Тэгэхээр <laughs> Yeah, we've been known each, each other for like 10 to 20 years now, and uh, we're very, very close friends. Um, as an artist, we know like how they perform, what they want on stage, and how like what they try, what they try to play. And um, as a friend, we also know like what their aspirations and goals and what their preferences are. Um, so you know that that connection um, itself is shown on, on on how we perform as as any other band. And uh, we we just uh, love to you know respect 
each other's boundaries and respect each other's like uh, uh, others' goals and aspirations. And that is why we're very closely knitted. Um, it's almost like a brotherhood, I would want to say. Um, so artistically speaking, uh, we've been performing for quite a long time now. Um, so it's all only getting better from from here. And it, it, yeah, it definitely shows through your music. It's quite a beautiful thing to share. Um, so people from all different walks of life have shown me your music and they're really excited about it. Why do you believe you have the ability to be so popular amongst di different generations and just people from well, basically all walks of life? Well, as an artist and as a performer, we're like a we uh, firmly believe that all people are equal, no matter the skin of our color, the age, um, where where you're from, where you were born, and where you live, and what stage of your life. We still think we're we're all equal, um, and then we perform our music uh, thinking like that, right? So. And that is why uh, it has, I'd love to think that it, it, that is the reason why it has some, that kind of effect to somebody. We would love to empower people through our music. We want to, um, you know, awaken that uh, fierce spirit within them. So that is why we just uh, like, you know, can, can be, uh, be listened by um, anyone who wants that type of inspiration um, in life. That's a great answer. Yeah. Um, so it is just over a week until the deluxe edition rumble of Thunder is released. Um, what are you most excited about? What I'm at if the song the song was part of it, you should put in there. Uh, who's that one? As as one is the success of the match, and it you must be part of it by the end of your album. Just in the next year. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, we've added in so many surprises in our deluxe album, like starting from featured versions, acoustic versions, and um, there's just uh, different uh, variations of, of that, how we performed um, and the, how we've recorded some of the songs. So we're really excited to be sharing all those, um, all those, uh, all those songs with everyone, and uh, finally, like. People will, um, everyone will have um, something to, uh, they will really love. So that's what we're really excited about. Awesome. I'm looking forward to it. And I really um, hope I get the chance to see you guys in Australia one day because it's just, yeah, it's the one hell of a show you put on. I'd love to see it myself. <laughs> well, that's all I've got for you. Oh, sorry. Um, 
Oh, no worries. I, I, I will tell you that as far as I that abstract comes out first, we need to be not doing it. I wish how some hesitant at this piece of song. Uh, to our Australian fans, thank you so much. You guys are like crazy loyal fans, and we love you so, we love you dearly. And Kyra, please do come by, by in one of our shows. Um, let's have a great time. I'll uh, see you guys soon. Awesome. Oh, please, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. And thank you for your time. It was so nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. So much. Bye. Take care. Bye. Take care. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Recording stopped. <gasps> Good job, bud. <gasps> that was really hard. <laughs> was it really fun to listen to? <laughs> you, did, you did really good. Did I? Yeah. I'm actually sweating. Oh, he remembered my name. That was lovely. Holy hell. I'm still recording.